So, as you can see, this is now the Philippine adobo, which is called the uh, Changjunim in Korea. And now, let's eat. Wow, looks delicious, right? Opa, pamokcha! Hi, welcome to R2R TV channel. Now, I will going to make a Philippine adobo. And in Korean, it's called the Changjurim. I know this is usually uh, uh, cooking by the Filipina like us because this is one of you know one of our favorite food in Philippines and it's easy to cook as well as in Korea also and why I'm doing this video it's because one of my Korean friends uh, I made it before and then she said and it's good uh, and it's good and some of my opa and an opa, when they taste the the adobo they say oh it's really good so now i want to share this uh video then i hope it can uh help to somebody which who want to try this uh this kind of food and then i know it's not only for us adult it can be be ate also by the by the children I know the taste is uh, salty, but if you're just going to put some uh, sugar or like oligodang, mm, the Korean, you know, the sugar, the, what's that, the liquid one, it's okay. And then I know the children gonna like it too. And then now, I'm gonna show you the simple ingredients or recipe. And now I'm going to start doing the Philippine adobo, and it's called the Changjurim Korean food. Okay? Yeah, this half gram of pork. I'm going to cut this like in a piece. I'm gonna show you the size. Wash this first. I'm going to put first the cutted pork on this bowl or I mean on this uh what this is called I'm already in, in Korean words like you know they call this like nengbi and then in Tagalog it's kasirola Just put all the pork in there and then put some water, okay?
not a lot of water. Just, you know, just, you don't need to, you know, you don't need to put all the water on it like as a full. Just like one-fourth water on that uh, nengbi. And then you start boiling it. And covered it until it boiled. Okay? And then we're just going to wait. Woo! As you can see, now it's boiling. Then we're going to yeah! open it. Wow! See? Just like that. Then just going to cover it again just wait more how many minutes and it's gonna be okay then after that we're just going to pull out the water okay after boiling we're gonna throw some water on it still have water but we have to throw it no because we don't need it but not all going to put the soy sauce you know Korean kanjang soy sauce then when I'm making this it's like they say if you put two of this spoon We have to put one on a chicho or vinegar. But now, as I can see, I need to put four. And then I'm going to put the vinegar as two. One, two, it's okay. With the onion. Just put on the top. My, my mother-in-law said, more garlic's more tasty. So you know when we put a lot like this on garlic. But it's up to you. As I'm saying, this is my style. So if you just follow, it's okay. You know this taste put it around then just to taste and then we're going to put pepper I'm sorry for the camera because you know I want to put here on the top but I'm just worried my phone gonna drop on the food <laughs> I have some leaves here that we call laurel in Philippines. I know here in Korea, the Korean didn't know about it, no? But in Philippines, uh, we use this for, you know, for making adobo. Even just how many leaves just to make uh, the smell, good smell. But if you want to buy this one, you can go some uh, Philippine store. I know they're selling this one too. As you can see, it looks like just a changjorin. Then later, we're just go going to cover it and just wait for another minute and then to check it if it's okay or not. As you can see, ta-da! Yeah! That's a good color, right? Almost look like Chang Juning already. Then, we're going to taste it. Let's see. I'm just gonna use this stuff. Then, it's okay. Just two of us going to eat this, so it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Mm. 
Yes. Then of course, the best secret that we have to put here is I'm gonna show you. Charan, 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 charan. Ige, sarang. You have to put here on the ingredient so your husband gonna love you more and more and more. Ching! <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, that's the secret of our uh, food when the Filipina going to make some for your husband. So, don't forget that. Okay? So anyway, we're now done for this adobo. And then I hope it's going to help, you know, some um, of my Korean friends and some of my opa's wife. When they, you know, when their husband want to eat adobo, even your children can eat it. Just don't forget to put dali down if you want to taste like uh, sweet and salty. But of course, you know, some Korean, they like the food as a little bit spicy so you can put the uh, not kochujang the kochukaro you can put the you know the chili powder on it just a little bit so it's you know, it's gonna be your taste I think so okay so see you next time and then I hope you gonna you enjoy watching in my video bye so as you can see this is now the Philippine adobo which is called uh, changgirin in Korea now let's eat. Wow, looks delicious, right? Oppa, pamokcha!